Most people in America are familiar with the concept of privacy of parts. Privacy of parts means the privacy of the things that we personally or we as a society deem as regularly considered private. There's a lot of things about of our daily life that are truly actually considered private to us. A really simple example of this would be our telephone and our telephone contact list and openly our computers and our bank accounts and our inheritance information, our bequeathments and other things like this. Obviously medical rights are very much a part of what American citizens complete and consider private. Our challenge in this pandemic world is that many people are trying to make public something of an illness that is truly private to the individual and the families. There is sort of a moral standard, however, that if you have something like chickenpox, which is highly contagious to many people who've never had it, like me, that openly you can be immoral for moving outside of your home and should be staying at home in quarantine. There are people who consider a week in quarantine perfect enough for the fact that they may be carriers, like my buddy I shouldn't name, who has this illness. What I've learned to do is stay at a six foot distance from him and not spend any more time with him. It's not that I don't like him, it just means I spend time with him in a different way, on the telephone, on a video phone, or whatnot. We use technology to help us do this. Even the government and the administration presently in place uses now teleconferencing, and they've been doing that pretty well on most topics, except for the lack of scripting. But I digress. What I am talking about publicly at this moment of time is the privacy of our genitalia. The thing that pisses me off to no end are is how medical practitioners are violating the rules of continuity of care under HIPAA laws and destroying people's lives like mine, where they take their nurses or they take their receptionists or they take their secretaries or they take their accountants or they take their allegedly culturally appropriate people like I had to meet in one white land I apply PUI specific ality of providing my medical records to be on file for a guy who ended up literally denying me the right to be his patient after I did all that fucking work and all that talking for hours practically online with some fucking little gay bitch in their office to try to get my records in the right place to get the right thing going so that I can have the right prescription which is simply maintenance for me only maintenance and I'm perfectly golden but the problem is that they allowed a lot of people to taint my medical rights of privacy. And what we're really talking about is the privacy of the human body. Now, if we choose to be a modest person and we don't want to show off our body parts or our body pecs or our body muscles, our body guns, our body whatever, and our penis and whatnot, we don't have to. It find it highly immoral that the black community loves to do the hip-hop thing, but now this time around, instead of like when my son thought that Tupac was king and he was Japanese, just to mention that, my son is full-blown Japanese, he would wear his britches down with his boxers showing underneath his ass. But at that time in history, we were not trying to show off the front side of our part in terms of our penis through our underpants. That pisses me off to no end. Because in truth, while we do have hip-hop fashion still available to us, we don't have any successful people in any fucking part of the world that is really just a standard old-fashioned guy that's doing this. It's sort of immoral. It is sort of teaching younger children the morality of the human body. The human body is something that we can disclose in different ways. We have society laws and etiquette about what men can do and say, and what women can do and say, and openly in terms of our fashion and what we do and don't reveal about our bodies. I have often felt with women's clothing that more is less, as opposed to less is more. I prefer to see a woman in a flowing outfit than something tight or something practically undressed. But that's me. I like the idea of exploration. I like the idea of permission earned, not granted. But openly, there are women that don't mind people boring on them, like our marvelous Kardashian clan, when they have a lot of crazy things going on. And they are a micro-specimen, micro in a way, of our society today. And they certainly will re represent the wealthy rich that know how to brand themselves professionally, because all they have to do is make appearances, and they get money. How marvelous is that? Show up and have a dinner, and you get money. Wow. It's called affiliated marketing. Did you know that? In life, we have moments in time to speak the truth about rights. And the bottom line is that no human being 
other than you has the right to market your parts. At no time did you sign up for participating in porn, I'm guessing and presuming, but I'm not privy to what's going on in your bedroom, or in your hotel room, or in your lodge, or in your cabin in the woods, or in your tent in the outdoors, or on the sidewalk with the boy or girl you tend to be sitting with. But here's the deal. You have the right as a human being to the right of your genitalia, the right of your body, the right of your parts, and the right of your medical records, which are openly, openly entailing what's going on with you internally and externally, and it's nobody else's fucking business besides you. You are prescribed and decided upon after thorough investigation, physician, and possibly the undertaker in the future when you get called for your position to God.